Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Total War Room 2. So I skipped the AI turn because my previous turn was already done and there was nothing interesting during the AI turn. I also changed the edict in this province from 4 food for public order to plus 10% tax rate. That's going to be much more useful. And I decided I won't be attacking this settlement for now because I don't want to fight towards at once. That would leave me with very few defenses. So if someone was to attack me, I would not really have any army to defend myself with, and that's a problem. I will take my time uh, to build more ships though. And then I could possibly take this settlement with my fleet only. I don't want to leave my army for defense. So let's start with that then, recruit units. Actually, before I recruit units, I might be able to build something instead. Can I upgrade any? Oh yeah, speaking of upgrades, I found out that if I get a technology that will allow me to upgrade this to hoplite barracks, then I will be able to recruit African elephants, as you can see in the bottom left corner right now. So this is going to be my next research. I have to research assimilation first before I can research land grant, but that's what I'm going for, because elephants. Meanwhile... I could declare war right now, I could also move into their territory without declaring war and piss them off. What can I do? But I think I'll just declare war on this turn, I see no reason not to. So let's do it. They don't have any allies, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Alright, let's do it then. Declare war. Greetings. Yes, hi. They you won't like me in just a moment. Use this Do I want to call my allies? War on I guess it doesn't really matter. Do not do so without first considering the consequences. Yeah, yeah, I consider the consequences. So, let's move. Now, I won't be able to attack them on this turn. I will have to wait for the next one, but it's okay. I'll wait. I think I'm going to recruit extra spy as well, because my first spy is all the way to the north, he's scouting around. So, I won't be able to use him. But I could definitely use a scout. I could also recruit a champion, that might also be a good idea. Yeah, that might actually be a little bit better. I don't have any champions right now, so might as well test them. How may I serve, Pharaoh? Right, I'm going to start moving her towards that province. I don't really need extra public opinion in here anymore. And this guy can stay in this settlement, at least for now. So let's recruit a spy. In this settlement, that's the closest one. Let's do it. No, not raise forces. Recruit agent. Or a champion, right. I don't have any champions right now. That will cost me 1100 gold. gold. But I don't really mind, I suppose. Military training. Oh yeah, each one of these guys has a different effect, so I'm going to check it this time around. I haven't been checking this when I was recruiting my generals and agents, but this is actually kind of important. Plus 20 unit experience gained per turn. What? That's interesting. Assimilation plus 5% melee defense, why would that matter on an agent? Plus 5% chance of wounding enemy agents in self-defense. Interesting. Plus 3% chance of critical success. This guy looks pretty good. What about this guy? I don't think that's very useful. On a champion. I'll grab this guy. I like the plus 4% chance. Alright, looks good. Let's recruit him then. Champions are heroic warriors and experts. So I'm going to move this guy right behind my army. Via the recruit agents button when a yeah, yeah. Selected. Whatever. So I think that's all of it. I don't think I can do anything else on this turn. I could recruit another ship or two. I do want to build up my fleet, especially with some of the more expensive ships. So let's grab another one of these tower things with archers. So now I'm down to 535 gold. And I don't think there's anything else to do. I already picked my research. Alright, let's proceed to the next turn then. This should be interesting. Because these guys do actually have a fairly big army. So this is going to be an interesting fight. I'm actually looking forward to it though. Okay, this will be fun. He actually attacked me out here. And his army is bigger, at least in terms of numbers. But we'll see. He has a lot of spearmen from what I can see, and a lot of slingers. 
So, I think I actually have an advantage. He doesn't have any cavalry. Alright, let's go into the battle then. I'm obviously going to go into the battle instead of using Orto Resolve. This is going to be a fun fight. I'm surprised they actually left the city and attacked me actively. Alright, so... Let's have a look. I'm going to arrange my army first, so... Where's his army anyway? On this side. Okay. So I have four pikemen units. I could place them in the middle, like so. And my swordsmen units on the sides, because then I can try using them to flank. Like so. That kind of works, I suppose. And I'm going to group up my slingers under separate key binding. Come here. Three more. These guys and these guys. This guy. So they go here. Like so. Then I can lock this entire formation. So I can bind this under one and lock the formation like so. There we go. Now they will hold this formation permanently. This is my general, he can stay behind, and my cavalry will probably move somewhere to the side. I just need to bind them. Let's rebind this to two, and cavalry under three. Sounds reasonable. And general under four. Alright, I'm going to scout ahead a little bit with my cavalry, but let's start the battle already. So, he does have advantage in terms of numbers, but I do think my units are stronger. At least, I'm fairly sure that I'm actually stronger. Okay, I can see him already. Alright. Yes, I noticed. But thanks for the update. It's kind of hard to miss them, you know. Right. I need to keep my slingers close behind, or in the front, actually. They are actually moving towards me. No, they aren't. Yeah, they are. Alright, I need to move my slingers fast. I'm actually going to back up a bit. Move my slingers in front, like so. I need my slingers as close to my infantry as possible, because then I can fire a few times and withdraw. And my cavalry can go somewhere to the side. I can go behind or on, on top of the hill with the cavalry. Right, that seems reasonable enough. And try to attack him from the flank. Alright. And my general needs to be somewhere close behind. My general actually has the rally ability, which is kind of useful. I should be firing at them already. My slingers are set to fire at will, so they will be firing as long as they are in range. I can't really charge with my cavalry yet, definitely not, but I need to withdraw a little bit because I'm being fired at. I'll just hide behind the hill. What? How is he under attack? Oh, he's firing at my general. Interesting. I'm going to withdraw a little bit then. I wouldn't want to lose my general. Wow, their range is pretty insane. And more units are coming. This is going to be an interesting fight. Shut up, dude. This is a shameful display. Dude, we have just started. How are they fleeing already? Come back here. Come back here and fight. Where do you think you're going? The enemy is that way. Stop. Stop. Oh well, they don't want to stop. Whatever. Is he actually moving towards me with the archers? Flee the field of no, he's not. This is a shameful display. Yep, another unit is running away. Did I actually do some decent damage? I'm doing some damage. Let's zoom in and have a look. Up close. Well, they are definitely attacking. They will run out of ammo eventually. Because all the ranged units have limited ammo. So they will have to engage me in melee sooner or later. I want them to engage me, because if they don't, I can't use my cavalry that effectively. If they engage me in melee, I can just flank them or attack them from behind with my cavalry. Well, I can still do it if I attack instead, but it would be better if he attacked me. I kind of want to force him to do that. Again, they will run out of ammo eventually. Let's have a look again. I think I'm doing okay. It's hard to tell. Well, obviously my slingers are losing health. Zoom in a bit. 
Come on, faster, harder. Where do you think you're going? Come back here. Next. No, don't withdraw. Attack. Hmm. Is he using slingers? Yes, he is. The men are wavering. I guess I should have used rally. That would have been a good idea, actually. That's probably a very good idea right now. I can move a little bit closer and use rally. It does have a cooldown. I could also use second wind. Hmm. Remove fatigue. Actually, no, that's not useful in this situation. But I'm going to use rally. To help my units in front. Like so. The men are wavering. There we go. That was not the best use of rally ever, but it only has 60 seconds cooldown. So by the time I get into actual melee fight, I should be able to use it again. I should have used it on the start, to be honest, but whatever. Yeah, he's using his general as well, obviously, as you might expect. Steady. Improve unit's ability to endure enemy charges. Yeah, that's not very useful right now. But my slingers aren't doing so well. Hmm. I think I'm just going to move up and charge myself. Don't have a big choice, to be honest. Alright, let's do it. I wanted to avoid that, but I can't just stand here forever. And I definitely don't want to lose this fight. I'm already not doing all that great. So I have to charge. He will be able to flank me, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. Unless I move like this. Yeah, he does have more units, so he will be able to flank me if he really wants to. Now he's charging, okay. Let's pause the game for a moment. I do have some pikemen units, so I can actually use the phalanx formation. Which should be kind of more useful in this situation. Can I do it like that? Yeah, pike phalanx, let's do that. And steady. Use the whip, no, don't use the whip. Shield wall. Hmm. Do I want to use that? I guess so. They are already charging me, so I might as well prepare for that. At least on the left flank. Just stand still. This should be interesting. Is he charging with everyone? Yes, he is. So now I can grab my horsemen. Where's my general? This is my general. Yeah, he's way behind. Now I can use the rally ability in the moment. If I'm not too late to do that. Hmm. Yeah, his army is like significantly bigger. But if I charge from up here, it should be quite good. I will take some losses if he attacks my a horseman with his pikemen, obviously. But I can't do much about that. I'll just attack these slingers or whatever. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Attack. Where's my general? Is he coming or what? Is he in range for rally yet? Nope, not yet. Almost. Come on, move it, move it. Inspire. That kind of works. Yeah, okay, let's use that. On some specific unit, this one. And... Yeah, now I'm just waiting for rally, pretty much. Steady is a bit too late. Pike Phalanx is not useful. He should be in range now. There we go. I think I hit everyone. Let's have a look at my horsemen. Well, obviously I didn't hit my horsemen, but that's kind of obvious. At least I can demolish these slingers. And I can charge these slingers in the back as well. I think I'm going to lose the melee fights though. Hmm, but we'll see, maybe not. I am losing a lot of health right now. So I might actually lose this entire fight. Unless my cavalry saves me. Maybe. Let's charge these guys. These guys. And these guys. I could charge them from behind. I'm not sure if I want to charge the pikemen though. Even from behind. Charging pikemen with horsemen is never really a good idea, but... I have to do something not to lose this battle. Yeah, no. That's not going to happen. I need to charge these guys. I'm pretty much losing this fight, unfortunately. As you can see in the bottom left corner, balance of power. 
I didn't play this all that well, unfortunately. Should have done it very differently. Come on. I don't think I can tip the scales at this point, but I can try at least. Charge these guys. And charge these guys. And here. Flee the field of battle. Yeah, I don't think my horsemen are going to save this, but hey, we'll see. These guys are having really bad time in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Sucks to be them, I think. That's a lot of people on one pile. Well, my horsemen are at full health for the most part, except this third unit. I need to protect my general. No one's attacking him right now, but that could change very rapidly. I could use Rally again. That's not entirely useful right now, but whatever. Yeah, I don't need to protect him. If they actually attack him in melee, he's probably going to die. Well, obviously. He can't fight against five or six pikemen units at once. He's not that good. The men are wavering. Shut up, dude. We can win this. Right? At least I'm winning back here, thanks to my cavalry. I need to get more cavalry. Then again, cavalry is not great against pikemen. And these guys have a lot of pikemen. I guess I'll just charge them from behind or something. It's not like I have a big, ch a big choice, really. Come on, finish him off. My general is doing okay. Rally will be ready. I can use Inspire on these guys. There we go. That's kind of helpful, but I think I'm going to lose this. Well, yeah, I'm losing health rapidly. Where are these guys going? Come back here. A little bit too late, but hey. I don't think they are going to be very helpful. They can try to be helpful. This guy is all the way back here, holy crap. Come on, move it. You got 30 seconds to get over here. So, chop chop. Mm. Am I actually winning with this cavalry? I think the balance of power is slowly changing in my favor. But there's no way I'm going to beat so many pikemen. Will I? Rally is almost ready, so I can use that in just a second. Come on. There we go. Should I just attack these archers? I think so. They are going to run away. Their morale is low. And I don't see any melee units nearby. Yeah. My men are running away, which is to be expected, I suppose. But my horsemen are, are actually doing quite well. Seems cavalry is better than I expected. I really expected to lose against so many pikemen units. Come back here. Yeah, the game is slows down a bit when there are so many units on screen. I can change it a little bit so that a single unit has less individual, like, units, if that makes sense. Shut up, dude, we can win this. I'm actually kind of winning right now. The balance of power is shifting in my favor. I need to recruit more cavalry. I think that's kind of obvious. Alright, let's group up everything that I got left. If I can group everything up and recover, then I might be able to win this. He doesn't have a lot of units left either. So I think this is going to be a very close victory. Alright, let's break this formation. I think I can do that. That was Control G, like so. Right, I need to prepare. First of all, I'm not sure if I have any ammo left. I have one pikeman unit left. Okay, I'm going to pause the game for a moment because this is a little bit slow. At least the frame rate is a little bit low. Group them up like this. Actually, I have two melee units. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Group these up like so. These are my last melee units. Where's the second guy? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Maybe like this. This might be a little bit excessive or unnecessary, but I can definitely win this. So let's have a look. The pikemen are charging me, I think. I should be using the pike phalanx right now. Like so. Right, and I might be able to flank them with the axemen, maybe. No, he's charging my axemen, so let's charge him. 
attack and attack with the slingers though i still have some ammo from the looks of it where are you going inspire should be up no i can't use it anymore and this is a little bit useless oh i should have used steady no steady is used on him do i want to attack them yeah they used up all ammunition this unit is down so he only has two units left one pikeman and some slingers i can handle that so this was an interesting fight I could have handled it much better at the start, but I can definitely win this. Okay, there's one unit on the left. I almost missed that one. I need to take care of that first, actually. Let's do that. I don't want to lose my general, for obvious reasons, I would think. I'm still using the pike phalanx, which is probably not a good idea anymore. I'm just going to charge these guys. They still have some ammo, which is kind of impressive. Will I be able to use any of these? In this fight? No, I don't think so. So is Steady used on this specific unit or can I target something with it? No, that's on this specific unit. Okay. Come on. Why is he not moving in with this Spearman? Not that I'm complaining, but it's a bit strange. They are just standing there doing nothing. Hi, I'm over here. Hello? Hey, what's up? How are you guys doing this fine afternoon? They look bored. They are just watching. <laughs> oh well, hey, I'm not complaining. Wow, that's a lot of dead bodies. Holy crap. <laughs> hey guys, I think there was a battle here, but I'm not sure. I need confirmation. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of dead bodies. Half of these are mine. But I'm going to win this. I think that's quite obvious. With a lot of losses, unfortunately. But I have some reinforcements nearby. Um, this was fun. Come on, get rid of them. Say hello to my pike and my sword. They are trying to defend, but that's not going to work out for them very well. Come on, move it. Although my general is not very useful right now, it's still useful to have him in range, I suppose. I'm still confused about this group of pikemen and there are some slingers all the way in the back. They are not out of this fight. Wow, this is seriously the closest fight I've ever had. <laughs> but a pretty funny one. All of these bodies are kind of funny. Probably not for them. But I don't think they have much to say. I don't think they have an opinion anymore. Right. Not much strategy involved anymore, I'm just going to charge them. And yeah, I'm going to charge them. I could try to flank them actually. That's not such a bad idea. If they are going to just stand around and do nothing. Now they are moving, okay. Do I have any ammo left? I don't think so. Alright, now I can activate Pike Phalanx. And attack them. And try to flank them with my Axemen. I kind of want my pikemen to engage them first, but I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Yeah, it's not going to work. Actually, yes, it will. So now I can charge them from the side. I don't think I have any ammo left. No, I don't. So now I can just charge them from behind. Or from the side. I'm about to win anyway, so let's have a look. Well, this was a fun fight. Sucks to be these guys. They should have run away when they had a chance. Nice spike, bro. And it's done, I think. Oh yeah, there's still that one stupid unit in the back. Nope. I don't see any units anymore. Yep, we win. But yeah, that was a very close victory. However... Their army was stronger, at least according to the game. I killed 1500. No, I killed 1900 and lost 1500. So hey, even though I lost a lot of troops, I did kill more than I lost. Well, obviously because his army was bigger than mine. 50% bigger than mine. So I'm actually glad I won this and this was a very fun fight.
So the side effect of this is that I can't really attack his city directly, or well, technically I could, because it's not the provincial capital. Noble death, what? Did I lose my general? But yeah, anyway, I'm not sure if I can afford attacking his city directly, and he's attacking me again, okay. No, that's victory, right. So do I want to enslave them? Maybe not a bad idea. 157 enemies captured. I think I'm going to do it, my public opinion is more than fine, let's enslave them. So, I might have to reinforce a little bit before I attack his city directly, but we'll see about that. It's just a minor settlement, it's not a provincial capital, so there are no city walls, I don't have to siege it. I don't need siege engines or anything like that. So maybe I will be able to take it without reinforcing. They only have one settlement, I don't de and they don't have any allies. So I should be able to just eliminate them completely, and then I can reinforce. I do have an army in Alexandria, so... I'm definitely glad that I didn't declare two wars at once, because now I'm actually going to need my second army. If I sent it to that sea settlement on the island, that would be bad. Okay. Libya ended non-aggression pact. Not good. Are they planning anything funny? I hope not, because I'm kind of busy right now. Okay, so, right, the Basque of Sobek, yes, that's my primary army, that means my general died, which is very unfortunate. So this time I'm actually going to check commander's effects, which you can see when you hover over this star icon. It should be visible when you hover over the portrait, but whatever. I would expect to see it on this tooltip, but anyway, let's see. Wow, this guy is good. I don't quite understand why, oh, they are all free, okay. Alright, because they replaced my general who died. This is not a new army. Minus 1% corruption, plus 2 cultural conversion in local province. I don't think I want that. Plus 1 growth per turn in local province. Plus 1 public order from characters. Plus 1 food, plus 1 growth. I like this guy. Inspired, second wind, war cry. Yeah, I need this. I need the inspire. He doesn't have Rally, which is kind of unfortunate, but Inspire is still kind of good. I mean, Rally and Inspire was pretty much what allowed me to win this fight. So I'm going to grab this guy, and I think I'm going to use Elephants, because why not? I mean, again, you can't go wrong with Elephants. In fact, I want to get regular Elephant units. Right now, the only Elephants that I can recruit are the ones attached to the General. I need to finish my research before I can actually recruit proper elephant units. But that's what I'm belonging for in my research. So now question is, can I actually attack this settlement? Or do I have to reinforce a little bit first? I can grab my champion first. He should be back here. No, that's enemy scout. Where's my champion? Oh, he's all the way back here still. So he won't be able to do anything useful yet, or he will. Assassination. I could try assassinating his spy, which would be very useful. 76% chance. Hmm. Okay, let's try that. 76% is pretty high. So, fingers crossed, it will cost me a little bit of gold. And enemy wounded. Okay, nice. So I killed his spy. Or at, at least I got rid of his spy temporarily. Hmm. Do I want to attack this army? Increase in rank, awesome. Always. Let's use that right away then. So, what can I get? Paragon. Minus 10% cost of performing all actions. Okay, I like that. And plus 5% chance of critical success. I think I'll go for that. Plus 6% campaign map movement range. That's also kind of useful, but I prefer this one. Alright, so question is, do I want to attack his army? Hmm. Most of my units are very low on health. I do need to move with my other general. He has some reinforcements that I can definitely use. I have one more general over here, but he's a little bit too far. I don't think he's going to be very useful. At least it will take a little bit too long before he arrives. So, I could also recruit another general in this city and recruit a few units on him, move him as close to the border as possible and reinforce like that. But either way, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.